Hi there, Liam O'Gogon here. Welcome to another segment in my ongoing research question, Does it matter? In this segment, I want to interrogate a recent experience I've been having in seeking information from a sector of the Irish Civil Service. I was looking for the work email contact details for the chief statistician from the Central Statistics Office, whose name is Deirdre Cullen. And as you can see here from a generalized Google search, um, she's quite a wide profile on, on in, in the public space, particularly in the media, and has been involved quite a lot recently in the in March and early April 2016 in relation to the upcoming census being held in Ireland. So what I did is I wrote an email to the CSO, that's the Central Statistics Office, and essentially the email I asked was the following question. Please forward me the work email address for Deirdre Cullen, Chief Statistician. Very clear, unequivocal request. I sent it on the 5th of April at 17.17. At 17, quarter past five on the 5th of April. And exactly 13 minutes later on the same date, I got a response. Now, I just want to look at the response. First, the response was, please forward your query to this email address and we will assist you. So I that was my, the request to my response to forward me the work email address for Deirdre Cullen. I expected somebody to give me an email address for Deirdre Cullen. I was asked to send my query to this email address. And again, this was says, regards census help desk. So I have no idea what specific person I was dealing with. And my question was not answered. So immediately I wrote back, uh, which was 1734. So that's four minutes after getting my response. I wrote back and I essentially said... Hi, Census Help Desk, to this non-entity who responded to me. That was my query. What is Deirdre Cullen's workmail address? If that proves too difficult, please confirm if it is in the first name, surname type of format, as in DeirdreCullen.cso. Now, the first name, dot surname type of format <coughs> would be something I would have become familiar with working. I, I was lecturing in an Institute of Technology. My email address was liam.ogogon at DKIT. So, uh, and I've had that experience with other departments. So I thought this might be a format. So again, I was making a job easy. Please tell me what the response to that is. Uh, and again, that was on the 5th of April, uh, which, so I didn't get any response to that. So again, I'm asking a fairly clear question here and I expected to get I expected somebody to supply me the email address. So because I wasn't getting anywhere, and this information was relevant to me in an, relation to another matter that I'm trying to follow up at the Central Statistics Office, I wrote another email on the 7th of April. Now, my original email was on the 5th of April, and at 11.21 on the 7th of April, that's two days later, I wrote the following email. I said, OK, please forward this mess or the message below to Deirdre Cullen, Chief Statistician. And the message was uh, essentially based on the information given on this uh, email or this web address. I will assume you're the Chief Statistician whom I heard giving a very informed and interesting interview on in a radio program in the last two weeks. I am trying to remember the program and station or or to listen, to watch, or to re-listen to the podcast. Mistake by me there. I would appreciate if you would email me a list of those interviews, almost certainly within the last two weeks. You may even have a link to them. If so, that would be great. So, now, just to say to you, I had already sent this email on the presumption that it might have been Deirdre.Cullen at CSO, and I have not heard back from Deirdre Cullen. <clears throat> so I think she has had one or two email contacts me again. I haven't heard any response or acknowledgement receipt from her. So I sent that email again on the 7th of April at 11.21 and lo and behold at 12.44 which is something like an hour and a half later I got a response and just the response is thank you for your email <coughs> Deirdre Cullen Chief Statistician Email address is deirdre.cullen at CSO. Kindest regards, Elaine at the Census Health Desk. So this was forwarded by Elaine Tobin, who presumably works at the Census Help Desk. 
Now, what I'm interested in here is the number of interactions I've had to have to get a piece of information which I contend should have been provided for me absolutely straight away. Now, for example, in my frustration of trying to get that answer initially resolved, I went off just s s focusing or hunting on the internet and I came across this page on the CSO.ie website. And basically, it said, our email addresses are structured on a first name dot last name at CSO.ie. So this information is not information which is rocket science. It would have been known to, certainly it's known if you go and look in the public space, but it would have been known to that census help desk. And yet it took um, a number of email interactions, maybe over two, two days or more, to get the information. So the question I'm asking myself is, why did I not just get a straightforward answer to a straightforward question? And I'm interested in the idea that this, for me, is another example of what I call the systemic fractal behavior that I perceive as happening in many organizations, in my experience. So just to give you an example of what I'm trying to look at here in fractals, and this is uh, a very commonly known fractal of the Sierpensky triangle, where you can see here that the patterns, this is about patterns, so patterns that are uh, have similar shapes at very small levels, at micro levels, and at very macro levels. So the same pat pattern of behavior seems to fill itself throughout a process. And I'm interested in the nature of the incapacity or inability or unwillingness to respond to a clear unequivocal question and how this impacts an organizational structure. Now, to give an example of what, where this comes into play, I want to look at an example of an other individual who is involved with the reformation of the public service in Ireland. That's Robert Watt, the Secretary General of the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform. And here, for example, is a presentation of his given to the Institute of International and European Affairs in February 2014 and you know this is the change management language of burning platforms etc so it's out there driving reform three primary standards operational standards so this is you know this is the driven response for the last four or five years in Ireland about reformation of the public service my thesis in relation to this is that what I experience on a regular basis this systemic fractal behavior of individual segments of essentially wastage. So, I mean, I asked a question which could have been responded almost instantaneously. Now, that give me, I, I regard that as a, an example of poor quality service that has no rationale for existing. My point there is I asked a question. The information actually would have been available if I had known where to look on the contact us page on the Central Statistics Office, a person working on a, a help desk, a census help desk, I would expect to have known that detail. But more importantly, when I asked the question originally, I asked, please send me the email address for Deirdre Cullen. Basically, I was sent back a, a response, please forward your query to this email address and we will endeavor to assist you. So there was no attempt to answer my question whatsoever. Let me give you another example of what I consider to be quality behavior in relation to this. So what I did separately in relation to this was for as part of the other broader in, uh, research stuff that I'm involved in around Does It Matter, I uh, decided I wanted to make contact with Robert Watt or at least find out his contact details. So here's an example. So let me just look at this one here. So I took on the 6th of April, which is the same sort of time frame, I wrote an email to the press office at PER, that's the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform, and I wrote it at 11.49 on the 6th of April. And again, I said, please send, email me the work email, the work email address for Robert Watt. So it was a very clear, unequivocal question, and I wanted to see what response I got to that. Okay. 
So I sent my original letter at 11.49 and 14 minutes later, 14 minutes later, I got the response from a person called Laura Durkin in the press office. Roberts Watts email address is robert.watt at pergov.ie. Alternatively, you can contact the secretary Patricia Scanlon at patricia.scanlon.pr.gov.ie. So here we have the person, the secretary general of the, the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform, who's driving change, or his mandate is to drive change and a reform in the public service. And um, we have from his sector. A, an, an almost instantaneous response, but a clear answer to a clear, unequivocal question. I asked for Robert Watts' email, work email address. I was given Robert Watts' email address, and I was given an extra benefit of being given his secretary's address. Top class performance, to which, of course, I simply replied, thanks, Laura, for your swift response. Now, my question is, why is this behaviour not the fractal systemic behaviour which permeates all aspect of dealing with public service as against the unsatisfactory response that I got from the Central Statistics Office. What's the missing link here? Now the other thing I'm interrogating myself is how long in terms of taking up people's time does it take to process this material? And in my own view I don't think that um, both in terms of reading these emails of misinterpreting as was done in this case here of having me write back and ask for further information having them finally asking, answering the question they were asked in the first place and I'm simply looking at that and I'm saying how much does that cost in terms of you break that down to work cycles uh, in, in terms of a week's work and where is this massive inefficiency because if you multiply this by all the questions that have been asked around the place this is a huge impact and cost and what is the response what is the training response that is required to get people to at any level to simply assess the qu here's the question I'm asked uh, am I in a position to give the information or not and if I am Give the give the response. Okay, that's a, another segment in my uh, ongoing research question. Does it matter? I hope you'll join me on other videos on similar issues. Thank you. I would appreciate your feedback on what went well, what went wrong, and what would be better if you would send your information to defragmentationwithattitude at gmail.com. Thank you.